welcome back to my channel. My name is Zaji and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this fall inspired eye makeup. Today I was really 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 excited because as I mentioned in my last tutorial which if you haven't seen I'll leave a card up to it above so that you can go and check it out. I did my last bright look for the summer season and this is going to be my first fall makeup tutorial and I could not be happier. I love summertime but I also like fall because I like boots and I like sweaters and so I'm really excited that we are now into that season and so I decided to start off the fall themed makeup tutorials with this one um, on my lips especially that I want to talk about it's the new Kylie lip kit in love bite and I am obsessed with this liquid lipstick so um, if you want to see me swatch some of the Kylie lip kits um, because I know I do a lot of things on my channel based on like skin tone that kind of thing um, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see that or give this video a thumbs up so I know that you would like to see that next um, but for now, I'm going to be showing you this eye makeup look, and if you want to see how you can achieve it, then go ahead and continue watching. And I'm going to apply my MAC paint pot in laying low with just a um, concealer brush from Elf. I'm going to take a translucent powder and a fluffy brush and just set down my eyelid. First color I'm going to be taking into my crease is going to be a Makeup Geeks Latte. And I'm going to take that with a Morphe F5 or M5 11. And I'm just going to be working this into my crease. And I'm really focusing on keeping the eye shape kind of rounded, not really, really winged out. And I'm really just going to focus on building this color up to the intensity that I want. Okay, so that looks good to me. So what I'm going to do now is start working on my lid. And for my lid, I'm going to mix a couple of colors uh, because I'm extra. You obviously don't have to. I'm going to get to get to get to get to get to come on now. But I'm going to be mixing three eyeshadows. And this is only because I did this on the other side, but you can substitute this step for doing just one shade. But I'm using these two shades from the Shanix So palette on the outer more or less two-thirds of my eye I'm gonna just be mixing those two and then my final shade is gonna be one from Makeup Geek it's called brown sugar so it's a little bit of a warmer brownie bronze kind of color and I love the look of this this really just screams fall to me I'm loving it so then I'm going to take the Morphe 5, M511 brush and I'm going to blend out the edge of those shadows I just placed. And then I'm going to go back in with just brown sugar and put another little layer of it on there. Now I'm going to take a Morphe 205 and I'm going to take Max Amber Lights and I'm going to apply this to this inner portion of my eye. And I'm going to just like pat over the edge of the browns I mixed to kind of blend the edges. And then I'm going to go back in with the eyeshadow brush, which was the e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. And I'm just going to kind of pull at the edges to make that a really seamless blend together. And now I want to deepen up the crease just a little bit more. So I'm going to take Anastasia Beverly Hills Smoke Eyeshadow, my Morphe M330 brush. So I'm going to just place this color on this outer part here. And then I'm going to go in with the 511 brush, right? Yeah, the 511 brush. And I'm going to blend this even more. Then I'm going to take my Becca um, 
split pan. This is basic. This is Becca's collaboration with Jaclyn Hill. It's the Prosecco Pop um, highlighter. And I'm just going to take a really small detail brush and apply that to the inner corners. And so for my liner, I'm going to just apply a little bit of this Marc Jacobs one that I got in like my birthday set from Sephora. I think this is the highliner gel crayon is what it says in blacker, kind of like lacquer, but with the B. That's actually really clever. Okay, cool. So I'm just applying this not like super precisely on to my eye just kind of like a base for the liner to stick because I'm doing kind of like a smoky shadow liner today then I'm gonna take a MAC 266 brush and I'm gonna just kind of smooth over the line and then I'm gonna go in with the Lorac Pro one palette and just take the black from that palette. I'm gonna use that to set that other eyeliner, but also to create my shadow wing. What I'm gonna to do to kind of make this really smoky is just take my brush and I'm kind of just pushing up on the line to really make it nice and soft and smoky and not like a definite liner line. And I'm just gonna add black eyeshadow and blend until I'm really happy with the smokiness of my liner. Okay, so now I'm gonna apply some mascara to my top lashes. Then I'm gonna apply my lashes off camera and then I'll come back and show you how I finish the eyes. Okay, so for the lower lash line, now what I'm gonna do, because I've applied my concealer and powdered it and everything like that, I'm gonna start working on smoking out the lower lash line. So I'm gonna take the same latte color or whatever color you used for your transition shade and I'm gonna take that on this e.l.f. eye crease brush and I'm gonna apply this all to my lower lash line and I'm just gonna build this up and blend it out to my desired smokiness I think that's good then I'm gonna take my morphe m149 and I'm gonna take that same smoke shade that I used and just gonna apply this right next to my lower lash line Like that then I'm just gonna add some mascara to my lower lash line as well and I'm applying quite a bit my um, concealer did take away from some of that so I'm just gonna intensify that a little bit more I'm actually gonna take my crease brush and just kind of blend that even more in that way <laughs> I forgot to highlight the brow bone, so I'm going to take my chamois nude, which you guys know is my favorite to highlight my brow bone. I was way on frame, but yeah. So this is the final eye look.